Hey, Virgo, Summon Rising, and Venus. This is what we got going on for your afternoon spread for September 22nd, 2022. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can go ahead and do so at tarotbarbie.com. I got crystal sage incense, personal readings, and much more. Um, just wanted to wish you all a happy birthday, Virgos. I hope everyone's birthday throughout the whole entire Virgo season was absolutely magnificent. I hope you guys had such a wonderful day for yourselves. I hope you guys celebrated Virgo season and celebrated your birthdays. I hope you guys got lots of gifts, of course, and and I hope you guys are going to be able to uh, receive all your wishes that you guys have wished for uh, for for the rest of the year uh, and furthermore, all right? So happy birthday to you guys, Virgos, all of you. And if your birthday passed, I don't care. Still, happy birthday to you all. <laughs> uh, so happy birthday, my sweethearts. Um, <laughs> all right. And I wish you guys, I, I hope you guys, and I wish you guys all your blessings to come, all your blessings to come true and all your wishes to come true as well. And you guys all receive uh, peace and harmony in your life. All right. Let's get it, Virgos. Coming with the Seven of Wands, the Hermit, and the Star card. You guys could have been dealing with a Capricorn, a Scorpio, a Virgo. A Taurus and Aquarius, uh, but at the end of the day, where goes you guys chose to stand in your power, seven of wands. You stood in your power. You said, you know what, fuck this and fuck that and fuck everybody's shit. I'm gonna do what I want to do. I'm if I you're not lining with my energy, that's cool. I'm good. You're walking away, seven of wands. You literally stood in your power. You protected yourself. Something didn't feel right for you, so you ended up saying, you know what, I'm good. Uh, Eight of Cups. A lot of you guys may have chose to walk away from this person during the full moon energy, and which exactly what it is that you guys did. You didn't fight with this person. You didn't argue with them. Maybe you guys said your piece and said what you need to say. But at the end of the day, you still walked away with grace. Eight of Cups, and. You got the clarity that you guys needed, and the moment that you guys got your clarity, you didn't, you stopped fighting. You're like, forget it, ace of swords. Like, I'm good at the end of the day, right? That's exactly what you guys are saying to yourselves. Uh, you guys are going to be coming out of this hermit. So more so the fact that this person will be coming out of hermit. It could be another Virgo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They're going to be coming back in. They've been going through a lot. They've been contemplating, figuring out what their next move is going to be. They're trying to figure out what their next message is going to be when they want to come back towards you and communicate with you. So they're coming in very fast as well. Especially this person's been in hermit, but they they're coming out of hermit, and when they come out. Oh, Virgos, they're coming in very, very fast, all right? They've done enough thinking, <laughs> and now they're coming, right? They're going to come running back for you. They, they, they want to come running back to the past. You are the past. You are the present past, and now they want to come running back for you, all right? They're hoping that they can heal the relationship with the star card. They have high hopes that you guys can work it out, and you guys can find a way to make this connection become committal. But a lot of you guys are going to say, fuck that, fuck this, and fuck you, Four Cups, Nine of Wands, your guard is fully up now. You feel like you're going to have to defend yourself because when they had had you, they chose to play on you. They chose to sleep on you. So now that you guys are fully aware of the of the, of the the connection, Ace of Swords, you guys chose to walk away. You said, okay, I'm good. You guys are no longer going to want it, Four of Cups. So this person's still going to come towards you and try to make this offer to get you guys back again. But in this case, Nine of Wands, you're not really feeling it anymore. So you guys are really sweet with this person. But in turn, you guys decided to release this uh, low vibrational toxic energy. You said, I don't have time for it, right? And you're releasing things that do not serve you anymore either. If anything from the past, you're releasing it. Anything from the present past, you're also releasing it. And anything from today, you're also releasing it and calling it day. Virgos, you guys were very sweet and loving to the words of this person. But you guys knew that this is time for putting end to put an ending to this toxic behavior. It has, of course, caused you a lot of heartbreak, maybe a betrayal. And also three-party situation here, potentially. But in turn, they are going to come back towards you. This person literally had so many options behind your back and it looks like they're trying to run away from their options. They can't stop thinking about you or looking at your photographs and they want to come running back to you. They're hoping that you guys are going to still want to make that offer to them with the page of cups. You walked away. You walked away. So they're, they're hoping, Virgos, with the Knight of Wands that they're going to they're gonna come running back to you and that you're still going to be willing to offer them this tiny cup. Anything. It could be anything. A chocolate bar, whatever. It could be absolutely anything. They just want you to be open for them when they come back towards you guys. But it looks like you guys are going to block their energy out. Some of you guys may have already blocked this person, so they don't even have any access to you. Four of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, they literally ran off on you. They, they missed out on a huge blessing that could have brought them a lot of joy in their life. Somebody that you guys could, would have been somebody that could have brought them stability, success, happiness, grandness, a family, uh, you know, uh, marriage as well. But they said, no, I don't want it for a pinnacle. I'm going to pull back my energy. I want to see what my options are. I'm 
but you know they still ended up running off and they're gonna come running back towards you at the end of the day mercury retrograde is about to be ending <laughs> it's funny virgos because when people don't know how mercury retrograde ends this is the shit people go through it's like listen we're in retrograde they're like i don't believe in that shit <laughs> okay well if you don't believe in it then you're gonna have to fucking deal with it then uh, <laughs> that's funny uh to a story so this person all right virgo so when this person comes back to make you this offer for the four of cups you're gonna be guarded but you're also not gonna know what to do with the two of swords so when this person decides to run back towards you guys and they want to come back and make this offer to you hoping you guys can have a reunion with each other you guys are going to be indecisive now you're going to have to make a decision do i stay do i go this has been coming in a lot for you guys do i stay? do i go it's been coming in for the last couple of weeks or months or whatever should you stay or should you go you're going to have to make a decision so figure it out virgos uh, because you're gonna have to figure it out. What, what do you mean? They left you out. They made you feel like you're not good enough. They made you feel fucked up. They made you feel alone and unworthy. They this is how they made you feel. But you guys took the high road out. You chose to walk away. Eight of cups, right? And because you guys chose to do that and said, you know what? Fuck this. Fuck my feelings. Fuck your feelings. Fuck the whole thing. Uh, and the reunion for that matter. You guys chose yourselves. Nine of pentacles, six one. And because you guys did that, you guys win. You guys are gonna get that recognition now from the universe. The universe is very proud of you for being able to under to choose yourselves in this situation because that tower had to come in that would have been the breakup for you guys right and the crazy thing about it is virgos is that because you guys chose yourself you guys are going to be able to level up and go to the next level on a spiritual level physical level mental level emotional everything you guys will be able to be successful a lot of you guys are being also recognized so congratulations for this and you guys have great news coming towards you especially after the fact that they thought they can run game on you five of pentacles so now this person's left with nothing but burden they're stressed they're burdened they're all fucked up they're sad they're they have chaos in their life. They know that they lost you and they know that it's going to be very difficult for them to get you back. And they may potentially not be able to get you back at all at this point because you're the Nine of Pentacles. Why would you take somebody back when you know yourself, when you know your worth? And how are you going to take somebody back that made you feel inadequate? And who tried to play games on you, right? So now this person here with the Ten of Wands, Five of Cups, Page of Swords. Okay, so now this person feels stuck. They don't know what to do. They're in hangman. They know that they have to make a lot of sacrifices. They want to come in with communication, but they don't know how to communicate with you because everything is stagnated now. Nothing is moving forward. Nothing is moving backwards. Nothing is happening. So they're sad. They're regretful. They're burdened. They don't know what to do. They're hurtful over this whole situation because they know. They know that you were the one that brought them the most happiness. This is a huge loss on a whole other level. I mean, the Ten of Pentacles to the Ten of Cups. Mm. To the Ten of Wands. Oh, my God. Ten, 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 Virgos. Really? <laughs> so they think that they're going to be able to sneak back into your life oh god they literally think that's crazy so they want to come back and they want this ten of cups energy right they want to be back with you again because you brought the most happiness you brought them literally rainbows and unicorns in their life like this person probably never had this type of energy in their life before and then you come in their life and you're like oh rainbows and unicorns and and you guys are just like a friggin bubble of joy literally and this person never had that and they are hoping that they can come back and sneak back into your life. And they're waiting for the right moment to do that. Because with the four of swords in reverse, they're going to probably do it very impulsively. They don't want to be left out. They, they feel fucked up now because they're sitting there waiting for you to text them. But you're not texting them. You blocked them. You're moving on with your life. So they're thinking that, okay, well, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't have done what it is that I did. Maybe I shouldn't have moved the way that I did because they're realizing that now with the seven of pentacles. So they're waiting right now with the seven of pentacles to really figure out what their next move is going to be. But they're just going to come back impulsively with the four of swords. So they think that they're going to be able to sneak back into your life but you guys put an end to it death card you're like fuck all this <laughs> you really did virgos you're like you know what i am i am a loving being i am beautiful i am compassionate i am intuitive and i decide that i'm going to put an end to it death card and i'm going to choose myself and you guys stepped into this beautiful being of yourselves with that queen of wand energy and you literally chose your happiness you guys got so much brighter days ahead of you brighter days ahead of you Somebody here could also be from Australia. Are you guys going into summer? Australian Virgos? You guys going into summer? Is winter over? Oh, God. <laughs> what a long winter you guys had. Okay. But nonetheless, Virgos, you guys decided to say, you know what? I'm fine with the ending. Death card. And I'm going to stay emotionally balanced because I've been through the darkness. I've been through the roughest shit in my life. 
Queen of Cups death card. You guys have gone through so many endings in your life that this ending here does not phase you anymore. Like you have no problem cutting anybody off at any given time. It's not an issue for you anymore because the moment that you know yourselves and the moment that you say, you know what, intuitively I decide that I'm going to put an end to it so that way it doesn't go further more into more destructive energy. That's how you exactly how you guys choose to win every single time. You guys can go a whole long way and get all, all the way fucked up if you guys choose to, but because you guys are so in tune with your intuition and you're very much so balanced that you guys know when to call judgment on anything. So it's like, you know what, uh, things are kind of fucked up. Things. If I have to put my defenses up, if I have to feel like this, yeah, it's not going to work out. Yeah, I'm going to just walk away. And you guys learn this now because you guys have gone through so many endings in your life. You have gone through so much domestic shit. You've gone through so much destruction in your life. And they just keep talking about endings, endings. You guys have so many people in your life come and go, come and go. It doesn't phase you anymore. It's like, go. If you want to go, go. And not, and not only that, you're going to go too. You 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 don't you don't care. You In your mind, you're like, I don't owe you nothing. Because in the end, you were coming towards them with integrity. So since they were moving sideways and they chose to, came to come towards you left, what do you owe them then at this point? Nothing. You owe yourself the world. Queen of Wands, you stepped into that power. You're strong. You're, you're brave. You're courageous. You're beautiful. You're looking finer than ever. And you're just simply going towards your happiness. You're going to what makes you happy. And this is the most important thing at this point. At the bottom of the deck, you guys got the tower card. So this person, you guys know that this person was doing nothing but being selfish and taking advantage of you. And you intuitively knew that, right? So that ending had to come in. And the worst part about it is, Virgo, this is the crazy part. The worst part about it is that this, the angels sent, this, sent you to this person because a lot of you guys are healers, queen of wands. Queen of Cups, and you guys are really beautiful. Like, you guys got really beautiful hearts. Like, somebody with the Queen of Wands is somebody who is shining their light, somebody who is very beautiful, somebody who is has a really big heart, somebody who is, they walk around and they go to the mall and everyone's looking at them because that's the energy that they exude out into the universe and they always get attention no matter what. And the fact that you guys even gave this person a little bit of attention, you guys really probably fucking boosted up their ego. <laughs> Meanwhile, they don't even realize what the universe was trying to do for them in that at that time. Um... Sagittarius energy too. You guys were actually meant to heal this person, but they chose to take advantage of you and they tried to manipulate you too for that tower card. They don't deserve you. They simply don't deserve you. And what's hidden is the fact that that would that would have been the hidden part. They don't. They up until now they don't know that you were actually meant to heal them, and you were meant to show them the darkness. So between the light and the dark here, they were meant to go through the dark night of the soul, but they were supposed to have you help them at the same time, but they chose not to. You were the one that was going to be bringing these blessings into this person's life, but since they didn't want that, they now are going to end up in the Ten of Swords. It is what it is where it goes. You guys are saying, fuck that, I'm done with it, like Ten of Swords, like I don't, I don't own, it doesn't matter if you were meant to heal them or not. At the end of the day, they rejected it, they chose to fucking do you one and run away from their options or run away from you and go to their wars or options. Now they want to come back hoping that you're going to make this offer to them, whatever the case is. But now that you know that, you know your worth. You know your, you know your worth. A lot of you guys might be pregnant from a Pisces or even coming in from a Sagittarius or even a Leo. Ah. <sighs> Don't be letting nobody trap you out here, Virgo, with, you know, with, with a baby. <laughs> Don't let nobody trap you with a baby, Virgos. Oh my God, so stressful situation. All right, because I can see pregnancy is also here. Some of you guys don't even know you're pregnant or you're about to be very much so pregnant. And uh, a lot of you guys may end up having your baby in the month of May. A lot of you guys may end up having your baby next year, August. They're saying August 10th. The baby is going to be delivered on August 10th for a lot of you guys. So congratulations. They're saying blue eyes. Something about all babies got blue eyes. No, every baby got blue eyes. I guess after the baby's born and years go by, their eyes will still be blue. <laughs> okay. Oh, but it's going to be so cute because their hair is going to be like brown, brown, and then their eyes are going to be blue. <laughs> it's going to be such a cute baby. Uh, nonetheless, though, Virgos, let's continue. Uh, so go, baby, go, baby, go. Go, baby, go, baby, go. Go, Virgos, go, Virgos, go. Go, Virgos, go, Virgos, go. <laughs> so cute, Virgos. Congratulations, my sweethearts, for the ones that are going to be getting pregnant and having baby in the year 2023. So do know that pregnancy is on the way for you guys. Also, Virgos, so you guys were meant to heal this person. They rejected it. They put an ending to it. Ten of swords. You tried, you said, fuck this. I'm going to live my best life. I'm going to take my power back. I'm going to stay confident. I'm going to be stronger than ever. You're brave. You're confident. You're strong. Your self-esteem is up there. You're not doing anything wrong, Virgos. You're really just honestly doing what you need to do to protect yourself at the end of the day. And you are very much so protected as well. All right? This person's hoping that they can come back towards you. But you guys are leveling up on a whole other level. So... 
if you guys are running a business, you guys' business is coming to a, a good a good start. King of Pentacles, you have so much happiness. You guys have healed a lot of yourselves too. Uh, but nonetheless, they're going to try and come back towards you. Maybe this person has a lot of money. Oh, sorry, Virgos. Maybe this person is a lawyer. Maybe they're a doctor. Maybe they are somebody who has money. Just end of the day, they're just... They, they got money. <laughs> and they're definitely magicians. So they're going to try and find the way back to you. Like this person's literally going to try and sneak back into your life. But you're calling judgment on this whole entire situation. You are. Queen of Swords to the Justice card, you're calling judgment on it. Absolutely. Absolutely. The sword is right there. You're calling judgment. You're calling judgment. Well, what are you willing to offer? Are you going to. So, what you're going to do is because you're the Queen of Swords now, you're choosing to do the whole head over heart decision. You're no longer going to be thinking with your heart because you guys know that always thinking with your heart puts you in fucked up situations. And because this person moved the way that they did, they moved sideways with you. Now you're not going to put them in. Now, now, you're, now you're going to remove your heart from the situation and you're going to be analytical. You're going to be methodical. You're going to be uh, rational about everything around you because you are the magician at the end of the day. You are the smart one. You, you guys can talk and say what you want to say and you're going to prevail justice on this person here virgo's justice card you guys are calling judgment justice expect a message coming in from this person somebody here is going to be receiving some sort of they're talking about a box you guys are receiving a box in the mail it's going to be expedited anyway uh six of swords so they're going to try and come back towards you whoopsies <laughs> they've been waiting for you with the two of wands so they they you guys are gone that's it three of wands so you guys go from the two to the three <sighs> You're like, should I go? Should I stay? What are my options? Should I take off Six of Swords? Should I jump on that plane? Should I jump on that cruise ship? Should I jump and go to, you know, go to a next town? You're trying to find ideas to get out of the situation that you're in or trying to find ways to make a move at the end of the day or just take simply take a trip and you're going to go three of wands. You're going to be like, fuck it, I don't want it. I call judgment. I call justice over it. And you guys are going to continue to focus on yourselves and focus on your work. This person's going to try and come back towards you. But you guys are not going to get along at the end of the day. You guys are going to argue and fight with each other. Lots of beef is going to be going on between the two of you guys. So this person's going to be coming in for you guys, Virgos. All right. Libra energy. Uh, this person's coming for you guys, Virgos. Uh, King of Swords, Eight of Wands. So this person's going to be hoping to communicate with you guys very, very soon. So do expect messages coming in from them. They are going to contact you. If they cannot contact you through text messages because you guys blocked them, then they are going to find ways with the Eight of Pentacles to find a way to contact you. Meaning, if they have to fucking download an app, they're going to download an app. If they're going to call you private, they're going to call you private, Virgos. At the end of the day, they have to talk to you. They have to reach out to you. Eight of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. And you're like, should I? Should I open up my heart space to talk to them? And they are going to talk to you. And they're going to express the, express their feelings for you. And they're going to try and bring in this offer. But judgment is coming in, Virgos. Now you guys are simply stepping into your power. A lot of you guys might be meeting another person, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius right but in turn you guys are actually going to be also embodying the king of one energy so judgment is going to prevail meaning spirit is saying sure we will grant you guys this opportunity one more time but if they fuck up we will handle it and we will remove it as well so this person's hoping now that they can get you back with that fool card so they're going to try and come towards you very cute and very innocent okay and they're going to try and make this offer to you because they're seeing you that you're abundant, you're fine, you're manifesting, you're, you're emotionally fulfilled. With and without this person, you're still emotionally fulfilled. But some of you guys are going to just stay silent. So you guys are going to play like dumb in a way, like you guys are going to act like, yeah, sure, I'm down for it. But in turn, you're like, oh, I already fucking know what the hell's up. Like you guys don't feel good about it either. Like, yeah, you guys know that this is a great connection. You guys love them. You guys had a great connection with each other. Maybe even soulmate connection for that matter and made you guys very happy when you guys were with them. But the fact that you guys had to walk away from them and block them, that's the part that's going to, to drive you guys literally crazy. It's going to fucking piss you off with the Nine of Sword. Because it's like, oh my God, like I, my intuition is telling me to fuck it, like don't move forward because of what they, what this person had me do before. The moment you guys block somebody, they're not going to get the, they're not going to get the same you twice. It's never going to happen. You know what I mean? And you're going to, you're going to use your discernment with the Nine of Swords and the High Priestess if it's a good idea to meet up with them. Two of Cups. And you guys may rightfully end up meeting up with them. So ah, some of you guys do not want to sleep with this person. You're just stressed out about it. You just I, I really do believe that you guys should just listen to your intuition. If something doesn't feel right for you guys to do it, then just simply don't do it. It's almost like the honeymoon phase is what I'm picking up on. Because you're not sure. Like, what what were you doing in the time that you guys were not talking to each other? Were they sleeping with somebody else? Were they doing something? Like, how are they moving? <laughs> how, how are people moving out here? 
Yo, you can't trust nothing and nobody out here at the end of the day. People are moving all fucked up and they all moving sideways and they all fucking fake at the end of the day, Virgo. So the fuck you mean? Uh, trust nothing and trust nobody. <laughs> Some wise advice, Virgos. Trust nothing and trust nobody, okay? <laughs> Do your research. Google everything. <laughs> Read that thesaurus, okay? So... They're going to try and come in. Maybe this person wants to give you a gift. But in the, ten, in the, in the end, you guys are going to be like really stressed out and having anxiety over it because you're like, well, what? who have you been giving to? Six of Pentacles. If you weren't giving to me and I left you, then who were you giving to in turn? Because clearly you were running game and you're being a player, right? So and maybe in the past they was, but you guys know very much so know about it. So they're missing you very, very much and they want to come back and give to you now. So they're hoping that they can make this offer for you with the Ace of Pentacles and bring this offer towards you and hoping that they can, you guys can have a fresh start coming up with new ideas to have you come on board and want to be with them if you guys are going to go for a drive with this person but at the end of the day they're coming back for you they're hoping that you could that you guys will take them back and you guys will love them and give them kisses and smooches and and whatever the fuck else that comes up with this shit okay <laughs> so at the end of the day they're coming towards you. They want to give you a gift. Six of Pentacles. They want to spoil you. They want to balance everything out between the two of you guys because they know that they was fucking wrong for treating you the way that they treated you. They should never have treated you that way. And the moment you guys turned your back on this person, they went straight into a loss, burden, stress, depression, sadness. And they're sitting there stalking you, spying on you. They're stagnant. They're stuck. They don't know what the fuck to do without you. You guys did not lose. You gained because you guys gained your power back, your self-esteem back, your happiness, your, your peace and the whole entire nine, you did not lose in this. They lost you, you did not lose them. But in turn, they are coming towards you and they are going to try and be that big, big bod man, big bod man, big bod gal. And they're going to try and bring this offer towards you, hoping that you're going to accept it and take it. They are going to try and be, they are still obviously immature, but they are going to try and be faithful to you this time around. But I would be aware with that chariot card because it looks like this emperor is the type of person that does things for them for their own well-being like what 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 what's for the like what the, the, like literally what what's for them oh my god what is for them they, that's what they do but in the end virgos they're going to try and come back towards you bring you this gift proposal hoping that you guys can go out with each other they miss you like crazy they want to talk to you again they want to speak to you again they are so passionate about you they're hoping that you guys will give them another chance and then in the end it will be in your hands so what will you do, Virgos? Because I do not see your energy here in the end. Where's your energy? Your energy is the Eight of Swords. You're like, oh, fuck this. I don't know if I even want to fucking do anything because it's like, I don't know what you've been doing this whole entire time since I've been gone. It's just stressful for you guys. You guys are not really down for it. But in the end, the cycle's coming back in for you guys. So you choose. Thanks, cuties. Bye.